Thank you so much for that important, important chat, Ewan. Well, we're moving into the kitchen right now. And I don't know if you knew this, but I'm a saucy girl, okay, in many ways than one. I love me a condiment. And chutneys are such a versatile condiment that adds a burst of flavor to just any meal. And Teresa is here in the kitchen to create this beautiful accompaniment with just a few simple ingredients and a little bit of simmering. And it really is just a few ingredients, so Teresa. So easy. And you have this beautiful chutney at the end that you can put on loads of different Exactly. Things. And we're focusing on the onion today. Yes, the humble onion. <laughs> <laughs> Not so humble in my opinion. It's yes. just, it's the hero here. Mm -hmm. So what we've got is some onion that we've already softened in butter. Okay. So that would be your first step of the recipe. Oh, let me grab some oil for you. So, oh, thank you. Sure. So we'll pop that in our pan. Okay, perfect. So How many onions is that? Uh, that's a couple. That's, that's <laughs> a bag I, of onions. Because <laughs> I do shrink quite a lot. Okay, you can um, see when. Perfect. Awesome. So what we did earlier is we just put a bit of butter and oil in the pan and we softened these for about 10 minutes. And you can see they're not crispy and brown. So you want to keep that heat nice and low and just let them gently soften and caramelize. And so we're talking like low heat, medium heat. Sort of low, medium low. Medium yeah. low heat. If you have it on a high heat, mm. they're going to brown and get crispy. Mm. And that's what we want to avoid in this particular recipe. Okay, So nice. that's looking beautiful. So once it's softened, you can mm -hmm. add the rest of your ingredients. So we've got some brown sugar. Awesome. Which adds to the yeah. stickiness. Sorry. That's oh, sorry. It's not you out there. <laughs> While I'm busy throwing sugar. You know? All over okay, the place. So brown sugar goes <laughs> in. And this is? And uh, you're going to just stir this in. Okay. And that's going to add to the stickiness of the chutney. And then we're going to add some balsamic vinegar. Oh, balsamic. Which now, adds... is that going to add to the flavor or the color? De well, both, but mostly the flavor. It's got that beautiful acidic flavor. Mm. Um, if I'm just making caramelized onions for a braai, for example, I always add a splash of balsamic vinegar. Oh, lovely. Because it really adds a beautiful flavor. Um, well, speaking about a braai, I'm curious as to what sort of dishes you would pair this with. Something like this chutney, as you said, is incredibly versatile. Mm. So um, a burger would be my first Can prize. You imagine? <laughs> a cheeseburger with some caramelized onions. That got so me excited. So good. You were talking about grilled cheese earlier. That would be amazing. Delicious. You could put it on your burri rolls. Mm -hmm. You could put it on tarts. You could have it with vegetables, on meats. I mean, they're really... The there list is, is no endless. Limit. You could make a gourmet sandwich. Yes. I mean, I love it's a just sandwich. amazing. <laughs> Don't forget to season with a bit of salt and pepper. And then we're also going to add some herbs for a pop of freshness. Okay. So we've got some thyme sprigs. Lovely. If you don't have fresh herbs, could you use dried herbs? Could, yeah, okay. definitely. Fresh is always lovely, but mm. if you don't have, don't worry about it. Okay. So some thyme and rosemary, which also the flavors just go beautifully with this yes. dish. And then you're going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes mm. and you'll see it'll thicken, it'll get that chutney consistency. Yes. And then let it cool for a bit in the pan and pop it into your jar. Um, don't forget to sterilize the jar first, of course. Okay. And then you can pop it in the fridge and put it on everything. <gasps> and how long would it last in our fridges? Um, in a sterilized jar, it would last um, at least a couple of weeks, if not longer. Ooh. Oh my so, goodness. Well, I don't know if it would last that long. Okay. You'd don't push it too eat much. It all in about a week. <laughs> yeah. <but> uh... <laughs> exactly. I was going to say, in my household, three days tops yeah. and then we're done. <laughs> What's nice is that this could also be a nice gift for somebody, right? Totally. I'm so into edible gifts. Yes. And this would be amazing. Mm. I mean, Christmas, birthdays, or if you're going to a dinner party, bring a jar along and I'm sure it would go down. Well, I'm so sure. The <laughs> smell in this kitchen right now is Amazing. absolutely insane. <laughs> I love it. And I didn't even think that the vinegar is what actually brought out the flavor and the smell. Definitely, That's what I'm smelling right definitely. now. It, the aroma is incredible. Oh, and how easy word. was that? Mm. So, so easy. Just how many? One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. And we've got Super a caramelized easy. onion chutney. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you, Teresa, for showing us the way. Such a pleasure. We love a recipe that's quick and easy that we can add to our our repertoire and make sure that you get that too. You can find it at expressoshow.com and make sure that you add it as a side to any delicious meal you make going forward.